Okay, so how to use this controller with Minecraft to control your game or that's controller from Xbox, but I have less official one, like no name brand or something, and we can connect, connect it to work with Minecraft, so let's begin. Okay, so all blog posts you have in the description, so you can take it and here's the text tutorial and you can go down for the link to download the Midnight Controls mod. That mod allow us to control our Minecraft with controller. That's only mod, all you need. So good. And here you can click download. I'm downloading it from Modrinf. You can select the game version. For me, it's 1.21.8 and you can choose the loader. So we are using Fabric today, but you can choose other thing too. Yeah, and I can download it. I'm selecting desktop because we need quick access to this. So yeah, desktop is good place. And now we need to download and install Fabric Mod Loader so we can scroll here and go to the official Fabric website and you can click download for Windows. I'm choosing desktop too. And another thing is Fabric API Mod because this mod is needed to connect mods to the fabric. Anyway, you need this too, so you can download it here from Modrinf. Yes, and I can click download and select the version 1.21.8. You can choose another version if you want to. And now I can go to the desktop. So now I have three files on my desktop, that's Midnight Controls mod, Fabric API mod and Fabric Installer.exe and I can just double click it to install, to open the installer and I can select here Minecraft version. But uh, if you weren't running Minecraft with that version earlier, you need to do this now before clicking installing. So I can do it now to show you. You need basically just create files with this clear run. So I can select 1.21.8 and just click play. And if game open, I can just close it. Exactly like this. So now I'm sure that I have all the Minecraft files with that version. And now I can click install here. And yeah, installation is successful, so we can close it. We can open our launcher again and we can select to play on the Fabric Loader profile. You can see this profile in the left bottom corner, right here. I can make it bigger, okay? So right here, Fabric Loader. If it's not created by default, you can go to the Installations tab, New Installation and choose it here, name it and you are ready to go. You have your custom profile fabric or this default one and you need to click folder icon here or here and now it opens our files and you need to find folder mods yeah but if you don't have it no problem you can just create it like right mouse click new folder and just name it mods okay now open it I mean enter it and you can just drag and drag and drop these mods here and yeah we can just close it now go back to our launcher and just play game this one or this created by you and now our fabric is launching and we can see in a moment that we run fabric version of minecraft Yeah, Minecraft launched and now we can see in the left bottom corner Minecraft version of Minecraft and slash fabric. That means fabric is running. Okay, already we can use our controller because mod is loaded. So let's try it. If you are using Xbox 360 controller, you need to have this adapter to just connect uh, your controller to your PC. Uh, the charging cable is not enough, so that's very important. And I have it, of course, but it's not plugged in. So let's do it. Do this. <laughs> so yeah, now it's connected and we can just turn on it again. Okay, and we have in the 
top right corner information controller zero is connected so good and now i can just use it to control my game as you can see which is very good and i can enter example word like here and i can show you that it's just working and i will show you in a moment how to uh, bind your controls better or just do some settings in this mod to to adjust your game experience to your con uh, co controller so yeah i'm just using controller right now i can break it place it and yeah play in the kind of old school vibe for me because i used to play minecraft a lot with controller on Xbox 360. But yeah, we can enter settings and now we can... Yeah, I changed the language. So we can enter controls here and you can see controller icon on the right and you can enter it. And here you have a lot of, a lot of options to adjust your controller to your game. I don't even know what exactly is here, but you have a lot of settings. To set it up as you want okay so now we can try another controller less official one so i can turn it off and take it it is it has cable and it's created to work with pc so we don't need the wireless adapter i can just plug it and it's working I can play. As you can see, it's more sensitive or something. So uh, definitely you you can have differences here between pads, but you can just uh, do some adjustment in the, in the settings. So all good. And yes, we can enjoy playing Minecraft with controller without any problems. If you like this video, click like button, comment, subscribe. See you.